Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith reported in Bukhari and Muslim, لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقبض العلم وتكثر الزلازل ويتقارب الزمان وتظهر الفتن ويكثر الهرج وهو القتل القتل The day of judgment will not occur until knowledge is lifted up and earthquakes increase and time will become diminished and trials and tribulations will appear and bloodshed will become common. This hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. We learn from this hadith that one of the signs of the day of judgment is takthura zalazil. Earthquakes will increase. And we are all witnessing and seeing yet another earthquake. Every few years we see a massive earthquake somewhere in the world. And we are just seeing right now yet another tragedy. And this tragedy is happening to a land and a place that already has faced its own tragedy. This is in the uh, borders of Turkey and Syria. And this was the same region that witnessed almost a civil war. If someone asks us, why does it appear that Allah punishes innocent people? We respond, and who does he have to answer to such that he has a higher moral authority? Who are we to question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Then he quoted the Quran, La yus'alu amma yaf'al. No one can question Allah about what he does. Rather, Allah will question you about what you do. This point or this sentiment is that there is no higher power than Allah. We are Allah's creation. So whatever Allah does with us, it must be justice, whether we understand it or not. Allah Azza wa Jal does not have to answer to any higher power. So who are we to question any wisdom? And of course, this is a correct response, but does this mean there's no other responses? And there are other responses that are offered as well. So another point that is mentioned is that some of our earlier scholars said, there is a clear wisdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala references in the Quran and we see in the seerah that calamities bring about a sense of humility in mankind. The purpose of calamities is to make us humble ourselves in front of Allah, to remind ourselves of our mortality, to make us eliminate takabbur, arrogance, to make us turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that wisdom is, it wakens you up. That wisdom is, it brings you closer to Allah. You're reminded of heaven and hell, the akhirah. You're reminded of the finiteness of your own life. Some scholars of aqidah and theology, some scholars of suluk and tazkiyah, they interpreted verses in the Quran and a hadith to imply that any time a calamity happens to anybody, it is a type of punishment for what he or she has done. And there are verses in the Quran that can be interpreted this way. مَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ إِلَّا بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ No musibah happens to you except because of something you have done. بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ So according to this, every single calamity is the result of some punishment. Now of course, this is a third point. But some have raised an objection to this understanding. How does one understand punishments upon children? Punishments upon people that haven't done anything wrong? Punishments upon entire civilizations and people that might not necessarily be doing something wrong? And so some ulama have said that the notion of a calamity being a punishment is not always the case. It is sometimes the case. And this is a correct opinion. It is sometimes the case. Not every single time a calamity happens, we should say, oh, these people are being punished. No, that's not always the case. Sometimes it is the case. Sometimes it is not the case. The fourth wisdom that some have said of calamities is that it is a follow-up of point number three, but instead of looking at it as a punishment, we look at it as a kafara, as an expiation of our sins, a forgiveness, a cleansing. So point number three, you were wrong, you were guilty, and you're being punished for what you did. Point number four, you were wrong and guilty, but Allah wants to forgive you. It's the same concept, but flip it around. You did something you shouldn't have done, but Allah will forgive you for some sin that you have done as a result of this pain and suffering.